Hello and welcome to another mod first look video. Today we're going to be looking at two mods. We're going to be looking at the large storage halls and the vehicle shed by Katsu of Modern Association. These are rather large. Let's get into it. So yeah, today we're going to look at both of um, Katsu's large storage halls and vehicle shed mods. I figured it fit in to look at them together. They are large, so I've once again graveled over my fallow field now with the large storage halls it comes in two designs hence why it's halls and not hall we have the one that comes in if i get down you can rotate this uh, 360 degrees which is nice so we get it and then come in with the roller door i'm assuming that's a roller door roller door at the front and then at the other end as well and then with a a regular door a regular person door rather than a machine door on the side so we'll uh, rotate that round and we'll get this one placed these are i believe customizable with color so we'll have a look at the color on the next one we get this over nice and tidy give ourselves some space so then on this one they are 300 and yeah 300,500 each with 75 being the uh, the daily upkeep so if we press f see what sort of customizations we've got so we've got a choice you can go red they are rather european in style but i think once you get a little bit of red on them you can soon have a look in uh, american barn-esque and with this one we've got the roller door on the front for the machines to come in and we also have one down on the side and then our personable door have we got one no no personable oh there is right next to it at the front there it is i'm just being blind so we've just got the single door on that one so we'll try and get this pretty snug if I can. Because I know that the next one that we look at is huge. And this is the Vehicle Shed, again by uh, Katsu of the Modern Association. This is a big one. Three, uh, 300,500 300, again. You get us a rotation. And this is also customizable if we press F come in and we'll have this one should we go with a white there we are so if we can get this down on here i did try and give myself a little bit more space as well i've stolen grass as well as field for this we'll pop that down absolutely beautiful and the upkeep on that one is uh, 100 per day or month depending on how your cycles are so let's get down let's have a little look at these up close i will as always bring my torch with me as well as you can see, we've got some, uh, I, I keep saying it, I like these dirty textures on the barns. I like that they look weathered and worn. We've got some nice textures here. Unfortunately, in the light that I'm working with at this time of day that I'm doing these, you can't always see it. If we go around the back, look at that, I do like a window. I like beam work. We're going to enjoy looking at this, aren't we? Very nice. Look at that. I like that we've got the uh, fixtures and fittings all in there as well. Holding all together, so it's just not the beams in the lock-in. They are held in place nicely. Lights outside, automatic, one does assume. So let's head in to the first one. Let's see if we can get in through our door here. The wind chime is at the farm. That's not That's not the door. Ignore the wind, chart, wind chime. So once we're in, plenty of space here. So we've got the two doors. We've got two personable doors. And then we've got the roller doors. So I'm going to assume we've got a light switch here. Lights are on. Very nice. I do like that ceiling. And again, that's going to let some light come through. That's transparent. We've got the nice window here that's not going to work because I've stuck another shed right next to it. But that's going to let some nice light in as well. Very nice. The beams, the woodwork. I like that we've got the, we've got the molding and the wear behind the beam where it's got a little bit damp look really nice i like that it's a good job we've got this torch isn't it detail even on the lights and i think if we go over to the button we can open our gate so i'm assuming we can't open gates from outside the uh, the roller door doesn't open from outside it's only from inside which is a nice touch it adds to the realism with that sort of thing 
be cool if the little light flashed, wouldn't it? If the little light flashed as they uh, as they opened. Next level. Well, this is really nice. Let's just go check the other one. Oh, we've got a nice little uh, metal support strut down there as well. Did we have one on the other side? We do. Nice. I like that. That's cool. Doors plenty big enough. These are massive. If we uh, put the torch away, I think I can go to me with the torch out. Look how big that is. Loads of space. We can get masses and masses of equipment in here. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. So let's just jump through. Let's go have a look at the next one. So it is much the same. It's the same in size. It's just the doors that are different. So you can place it so it works maybe with your your particular farm. Uh, perhaps if you can run through front and back, or perhaps on your farm you need to be able to uh, come in through the side, depending on how you want your setup. I'm also assuming that we can tip in here, store some crops on the ground. Again, we'll uh, check the doors. And we'll uh, get our light on. Really nice. I like the uh, the starkness of the red with the dark tin roof as well. It's not tin, I know, but yeah. Textures are good. The steel girders. If we get our torch on again. Absolutely love it. Beautiful. Lovely big sheds. Like I say, this one we've also got the roller door on the side. Open that with our trigger. And we've got the uh, the transparent glass. I'm going to assume it's glass. We're going to go with glass. We've got glass up here. Again, just, just really nice work with the uh, with the fixtures and fittings of it. The beam work, nice and simple, nice and sturdy. The uh, the arch and the way that that flares out, so it's getting wider. Really nice. I really like that. These are beautiful, beautiful. Again, I'm sure we've probably had similar, and some will say they're similar to 19 or maybe similar to 22, but everything has been retextured. Everything looks nice. Everything looks clean, despite it looking dirty. That wood grain, I just think things do look better visually. Such an improvement. So next up is the, the vehicle shed. Now, this comes in in its own pack. Both will be linked in the description. So uh, let's go in and have a little look at this one door to get in again it's huge absolutely huge so if we button on the roller again trigger on the light it's not like some sheds where you can trigger the light anyway you do have to be in there and with this one there are multiple doors on here and each door i am assuming has its own fully functioning button which is Absolutely brilliant. This is gorgeous. Let's get some lights on in here. And the framing is completely different, obviously. There's there's no wood in this. This is all metal beams, metal frames, girders. Have a little workshop around here. Have a little, have a little setup in here for, for machines and stuff. Really, really like... Oh, we've got a skylight as well. I hadn't even noticed... Beautiful, yep, yeah, this is definitely where we've done our maintenance, or you could store stuff here, you could get your bags and stuff up there and out of the way. Plenty of space to get in here and turn your vehicles as well, so if you've got harvesters pulling, you know, header trailers with headers on and things like that, look at the reflection on that. That's nice. I like those lights as well, let's turn my light off and just look at them. The illumination from it. I'm sure at night that looks quite spectacular, actually. Will that spread? Again, it looks really good. Looks really good. Let's go out this side and have a little look at what we got there. They are big. They are expensive. But I think these would fit in. I mean, I said European, but these would fit in in a large American farm, especially this vehicle shed. Seeing it in white and red always makes me think American farms. When they're in in the greens, I always tend to think European. But yeah, that is really nice. I really like that. Again, if you're working Riverbed Springs or if you're running on um, 
a future American map. These would look beautiful if you can make some money and uh, get these going on Zaloinka, then obviously that would work well. They they would no doubt fit in as well. I have to mention those two, but these would, you know, without a doubt fit in well with Hutan Pan Thai, since that's quite a generic map to say the least. But I really like these. Really like them. Definitely something I'll be trying to work in if I ever can afford it in a in a series that I'm doing. I was trying to find a nice little bit of door or something to have as we as we go off because why not look inside at the beautiful work but yeah these are absolutely lovely hopefully you enjoy them as well they are the large storage halls and the vehicle shed by castor of uh, modern association hopefully you've enjoyed this as well if you have give it a big crap thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i'll see you again soon Bye bye